Aries, welcome to the channel, welcome to the reading, and thank you for returning to the reading. Okay, so Aries, uh, this is going to be one of the uh, lengthier videos, okay, and we'll uh, take a look pretty much at past, present, future, and uh, your question and the answer. Now, I have added other questions, so uh, these are questions that I um, created in order to give us uh, more depth into the reading. Now, I do want to say that um, this is a general reading, so if it applies to you, it's absolutely because of um, coincidence, luck, that you found the video. If it doesn't apply to you, just leave it. It's it's not meant for you. And if it does apply to you and it resonates and you like it, good, okay? And if it doesn't and you don't like it, uh, it's not for you, just leave it alone, okay? So uh, let's start the reading. I think that was all I wanted to say. And... Um, yeah, so uh, if I think of anything else, then uh, I'll say it. But once I get into the reading, I'm not going to think of any administrative questions, so administrative issues. So uh, just let's get on with the reading. Okay, so we start off in the past series with uh, uh, you're um, trying to achieve your wish fulfillment. Okay, um, this uh, may have been achieved, may have not been achieved. Um, but uh, if we take a look at... Um, some questions as to, because um, I'm just going to address them now rather than um, do past, present, future, and then go back to the details. I'm going to address the details of, of each uh, section while I'm dealing with it. So um, I don't know, maybe I might change how I do this in the future. Uh, so what were your, why were you trying to achieve this uh, objective? Okay, uh, this objective, achieve this, uh, well, yeah, achieve an objective that gets you to your wish fulfillment. Well, you were trying to get some um, sort of um, celebration. Can we say this is a celebration card? Um, it's relief, perhaps uh, emotional relief, given that it's the cups. But uh, it just talks about uh, general relief. I don't think this is necessarily you wanted some emotional relief. Perhaps you did. Uh, perhaps it was more of... Um, uh, financial relief, perhaps you were looking for, and that's why you wanted to go to uh, towards this wish fulfillment, the Eight of Cups, and you were trying to bring along this uh, turning point. Okay, uh, following your passions, perhaps there was some area in work that you really enjoyed, and uh, you were following your passions to try to bring some uh, financial relief because you thought the best way to uh, make money is by following your passions. You know, like what people hear about and that's really good that's really good Aries um, now uh, were you uh, were you uh, how were you uh, perceived or how were you received um, by doing all of this um, we have a couple of interesting uh, cards over here okay uh, you were perceived as the Emperor <laughs> okay so uh, it's a really strong personality Aries and you're really you really showed up Powerfully, or you're showing up in the past position really powerfully. Okay, uh, so you, uh, I want to say, knew what you were doing and you uh, went after your goals with uh, determination. That's what I think this is about. And it's associated also with the Seven of Swords. Now, this is creativity, creativity in the intellectual field. So you use some creativity. Uh, you and determination to try to achieve this uh, this goal, this wish fulfillment that was uh, going to bring you some relief. And I want to say that relief was probably financial relief. Um, and uh, how are you feeling at that time? Uh, we can also look at uh, like who were you at that time? Okay. Well, we have the ten of wands. Ten of wands. Somebody who's um, carrying uh, perhaps burdens, perhaps you felt burdened, perhaps because you were uh, looking for this turning point financially. And, um, but you also had this objective, okay? Uh, so you were a person who had objectives, okay? And probably, um, you know how everybody starts off. Nobody starts off having uh, uh, everything uh, um, at their disposition, uh, limitless financial resources or even enough financial resources. So perhaps that's what uh, that's what this is talking about. Okay, so somebody who was uh, felt a little bit burdened, a little bit tired, perhaps even if not burdened, tired, tired. So we took a look at the past position. Let's look at the present position, and um, the present position you're showing up 
as uh, as the chariot. Okay, so somebody who's successful or who soon will be successful. Okay, the chariot speaks about somebody who uh, is able to get things done through the power of their thoughts. Uh, so this this creative energy uh, that you had uh, while being perceived as an emperor. Well, now you're um, you are this chariot. You are a successful person or soon to be a successful person. I apologize. And um, let's see, uh, who are you? Who are you in the present moment? Okay, well, I want to say uh, along with this chariot, okay, a uh, successful person, you're also a no-nonsense person, okay? So we have also two success cards over here, uh, success in the chariot and triumph in uh, the ace of swords. It's also the cut the crap card, so that's why I say no-nonsense. This is, this is, you're represented here as who you are, you're a no-nonsense type of a person, Aries. What are you looking for? Okay, what are you presently looking for? Well, presently you're looking for, um, I, I'd like to say love. Uh, perhaps you're finding a love, perhaps you, you will find love. Okay, this is, uh, this is what you are presently looking for. You're looking for some intimate uh, relationship. Perhaps um, this could also be uh, becoming uh, more uh, more clear about uh, your your personal depths as well. I mean, this does not necessarily have to be. This doesn't necessarily have to be uh, you looking for uh, an intimate relationship. Could be. Uh, in fact, that's what I think it probably is. But it could also, if it doesn't mean that, it could also be uh, becoming more familiar. Uh, uh, like the hermit card, okay? The hermit card, somebody who knows themselves really well. That's what it could be if this is uh, with respect to an internal uh, process rather than an external process of finding uh, your soulmate. So in the future, okay, uh, the future card, we have take a leap of faith. Okay, so basically uh, this is saying that things will work out. Okay, Aries, so uh, you're going towards wish fulfillment. Uh, in the past, you were going towards wish fulfillment. It appears that you have some uh, some level of success or will be having some level of success and I uh, ask for clarification uh, Why take take a leap of faith because you will be going to better times. Uh, you'll be feeling uh, a lot calmer um, A lot better I'd say um, And who will you be now, this is an interesting card, okay? Uh, this is my interpretation of this card. This is uh, if you notice there are two cups Towards the front and two cups towards the back two are uh, down towards the front and two are up towards the back so this is the the unconscious because it's on the left side of the the man over here this being the left side okay the other side over here being the right side um, so the unconscious is very balanced so i want to say who will you become you'll become a very balanced person because of your ability to connect perhaps that's what this is then uh that's your you're you're becoming uh clearer about who you are and you're you're becoming this uh like hermit uh person in the sense that you're becoming very clear about who you are the deeper parts of yourself okay perhaps your higher self you're you're doing uh visualizations meditations praying and you're becoming more in touch with your higher self and it would make sense because in the future it says that you're a very balanced person because of your ability to access the unconscious and the unconscious is really balanced so uh, if we take a look at what are, uh, uh, what's your question? Your question is that you'd like some ease financially. Okay, perhaps it's coming because we saw uh, that in the present you're represented with the chariot, the chariot is having success. There's also uh, the ace of swords in the, um, who are you? Uh, you're a no-nonsense person, probably a triumphant person too, if you got the chariot. Okay, so success, success, um, and oh, what do you, what's your question? Your question is with regards to finances. Will you have this ease uh, financially? Now, um, <clears throat> why? Why do you want to know about this? Okay, I had to ask because I wasn't really clear what the, um, the uh, situation was. So I got some clarification and you're looking for wish fulfillment. Okay, so you want some ease financially because you're looking for wish fulfillment uh, on a financial with regards to finances. I mean, it could also be with regards to love because this is the, um, the emotion suit. The, uh, the cups is the uh, suit of uh, emotions, love, feelings, sentiments. Um, so you're, 
I think it, uh, with respect to your question is, will there be, will I have enough ease, financial ease in the future? And um, why are, why is this an important question for you? It's an important question for you because you're going uh, after wish fulfillment, like we saw actually in the past. Okay, you're going after wish fulfillment. And the chariot says that you you have or you will be getting soon uh, a wish fulfillment and uh, uh, success. And it's, uh, a, and you're looking for this ease because that's your wish fulfillment is to have financial ease. Uh, so, um, that, that is what I have for the why. Actually, I, I actually asked for some more clarification, okay? And um, um, I asked uh, for more clarification in terms of why is, uh, why do you want this financial, uh, this, uh, this financial ease in the future? And, and why will it bring you wish fulfillment? Because uh, you'd like to be surrounded uh, by an abundance of money. But it's not for selfish purposes. <laughs> this this is what came out, okay? Uh, for a soulmate, uh, for your soulmate, for your family, okay? Uh, so you want this, and I think that's what you were trying to do in the past as well. Uh, the Eight of Cups, uh, looking for your wish fulfillment, trying to bring a, a turning point. Uh, perhaps the finances were tough when you were growing up, and so you wanted to bring a turning point, um, uh, a turning point to your, uh, to your life, to your family's life, while you're still... Uh, it, it, this is this has still remained an objective for you. Okay, so it's, it doesn't have to do anything with selfishness. It has to do with uh, really, uh, really, what do we call uh, high, uh, uh, not aspirations, but um, really uh, heart-centered for, for really good reasons. Okay, because you're a really good person, Aries. Okay, so you're doing it. You're doing it for family. You're doing it for people that you love. That's why you're doing this. What's the answer? <clears throat> Will you have this financial ease? We get material security. So what do you think the answer is? Okay, we have financial ease. Uh, is your your question for will I get financial ease? And uh, the tarot is answering with you with material security. So you're getting this financial ease, and it's being confirmed with the yes card. It's being confirmed with the yes card, Aries. Okay, so you'll have you'll be getting your financial ease. Now, um, I did ask some other questions over here, and. Um, what, what, um, what are you giving attention to in the present moment? Okay, uh, you're looking for a balanced situation. Okay, and what do we say we have in the future? We have balance in the future. Okay, which is really, really interesting. Um, and the thing is, though, that you're you're not seeing that there's a portal, perhaps a portal that brings you this, um, this um, balance that brings you that brings you this balance, that brings you this um, also this financial ease. So um, you will be getting this financial ease, okay? And you, you, you're looking for balance, perhaps looking to balance uh, uh, family with work, family life with work life and uh, uh, all that. Perhaps you have, uh, you have children and uh, uh, there's a, a lot of different aspects to your life. There's work, uh, there's the home life, there's uh, uh, bringing kids to soccer practice, uh, <laughs> bringing kids to, um, I don't know, to their swimming lessons or whatever it is, or a hockey game or you know, football, baseball, basketball, all those, uh, all those things. Um, so you're looking for balance, but it is telling you, so you're giving attention to trying to balance your life more, but you're not seeing that there's a portal to all this. Now, what is this portal? Excuse me, I have to cough, okay? <coughs> so uh, what is this uh, portal? This portal um, is to your subconscious. And what resources do you have in your subconscious? You have some great resources, Aries, in your subconscious, okay? You have your higher self that's trying to, that can lift you up to higher grounds, okay? That can, what do I mean by this? I mean that you can actually, uh, if, you're, if you're feeling a little bit, uh, um, a little bit tired, like, uh, where is the card here? Okay, like a little bit tired over here, uh, virgins. Well, you have resources to bring you up and, Put you on higher ground, okay? Emotionally, uh, intellectually. <coughs> Excuse me again. Uh, have a little bit of cough. Um, and what are your best resources uh, in your subconscious? In your subconscious, you. It seems like if you rely on your emotions, okay, these emotions will help you to um, align better with perhaps with who you are, uh, with who you're becoming. Uh, and also uh, perhaps align you with uh, a more grounded um, way of being, 
and this gives you material security and serenity. So if you can uh, align your feelings, if you can get in touch with your feeling side, perhaps that's what this balance is because uh, you're perhaps you're very intellectual, okay? And there is a portal to the subconscious that allows you, okay? The moon also re refers to the subconscious, allows you to get in touch with uh, bigger resources, your higher self, okay? That brings you to this higher ground, okay? so. It calms your feelings, your emotions, okay? So uh, this is where the emotions side, get in touch with your, your emotions because uh, uh, if you can get in that, you know what they call uh, a very centered, um, a, a balanced heart-mind balance, um, a frame of mind, frame of being, uh, perhaps that's where medita the meditation comes in. Do we have the meditation card here, the, the Four of Swords? Uh, no, where, where was it? Uh, it was probably the Five of Cups, okay, that I was talking about uh, becoming more balanced. Uh, that then, uh, these resources, okay, th these are the resources that are in your subconscious, in your subconscious alone, um, that help you become more balanced. So you want to, you're looking for balance, okay, there's a portal in there. It's through your higher self that will uh, bring you to this higher ground, this higher ground that is based on um, getting into your emotions, centering yourself, and that will give you the material security, okay, because you're going to be balancing out all of this thought energy that is the sword suit. So uh, I hope that's clear. Um, and, and look what we have. We have the, um, uh, what will happen if you do that? Okay, well, you'll bring all of this into uh uh, into manifestation. The Two of Cups is a Canuxio, which is um, representative of uh, your counterpart, but also um, a real world manifestation, okay? Um, because uh, a couple, the, the couple can produce uh, um, their, their offspring, okay? And what's their offspring? Their offspring is what we were just talking about right now, which is becoming more balanced. So it's saying that uh, by doing all this, you'll be able to uh, actualize this because uh, the Two of Cups represents the capability of making creation uh, turn into uh, actualization. So what does Spirit have to say about all this? Spirit has a lot of nice things to say about all this. Spirit has uh, some really nice uh, things and these are this is what Spirit is saying. Spirit. Spirit is giving you a, a beautiful compliment here, Aries. Uh, Spirit is saying that you are a master manifester. Okay, so you are able to bring this, uh, and that's perhaps why uh, you got the chariot in the present moment, because Spirit acknowledges all the work that you, you've done. Okay, so um, you're a master manifester. <laughs> What's the love message coming from Spirit? <laughs> the love message is love. So Spirit is sending you love. <laughs> and by giving you perhaps this... Um, concept of yourself as a master manifester and somebody who's uh, and in this love message they're saying you're, you'll have a victory because you're this master manifester uh, it's saying also that the resources are inside of you okay so you have that's what the magician says okay you have you have it all okay you can you can manifest because you have all these uh, capabilities and uh, it's being underlined highlighted that all the resources are inside and uh, you can harvest you there's there's potential for uh harvesting um abundance great abundance over here aries um so i'm just going to take a look to see if there's anything else that i wanted to address um perhaps bringing everything together um uh, i think i pretty much said everything um so uh, you you went from looking for wish fulfillment to becoming successful and it's telling you take a leap of faith uh because I guess if you, you can take this leap of faith because if you actually do uh, put all this into practice and uh, you become more balanced uh, in the future okay, with uh, the, uh, the justice card, you become more balanced, then uh, this ease that you're looking for, okay, which spirit is saying material security, okay, you will be getting this uh, wish fulfillment that you want for your family. You will have it because through the balance, you will be getting uh, in touch with your emotions, uh, which centers you and will bring about this uh, great, um, all these great um, material manifestations for you and your family. 
So hope you like it. Please like, share, and subscribe. I thank you all so very much for watching and for continuing to watch. Thank you.